What the hell did I say? You cannot have weak ass cards, dude. Hey, the dumb UFC, they keep putting out dumb, weak cards, dudes. And guess what happens when the main event falls out? This is what happens. Huh? I told people, you if you saw my other videos, you already know this old story. But that's what I'm getting to. When the fucking UFC puts on these weak ass cards and the main event falls out, this is what happens. UFC 196 is no more. Now it's a Fox Sports 1 card. That's what it was to begin with. Huh? There's only literally like one, two, or two fights where people would actually pay money cash to see. Actually, probably just one, the main event, the heavyweight championship. <laughs> it, this is so f awesome and funny. I know a lot of people don't are not going to like what uh, where Doom said. He, he said... Uh, if Kane was still fighting, he would fight, even though he's injured. Hey, a lot, of, I, uh, a lot of people might say, "Hey, you, if you're a champion, you gotta fight everybody, and it doesn't matter who's fighting." And it, dude, I already, like I said in the other videos, Stipe can't sell ass, and I already mentioned this. It's not his fault. It's partially his fault. It's partially the UFC's fault. The marketing for him is fucking horrendous. It's, everything is horrendous. Bottom line is this: the UFC has not learned their lesson. When they put weak ass fight cards like this, the main event falls out. This is what happens, and this is what should have been. It's a Fox Sports One card. Now the main event is Johnny Hendricks versus Stephen Thompson. If you don't know who Thompson is, that's totally fine. And you guys know Johnny Hendricks. He was a, he was the champion, but he wasn't a fucking professional. He was all the fucking time out of shape after the fights, and he almost killed himself getting make trying to make weight. That's not professional. And recently released a, oh, now he's hired a nutritionist. Well, you know, whatever. The guy's not professional. Everybody knows it. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because hey, the UFC got what kind of they deserved with putting on these weak-ass fight cards. There we go. Now it's a... <laughs> now it's a Fox Sports 1 fight card. There you go, UFC.